guys, I just got a pro controller. There you guys go. For the Nintendo Switch, I might start doing some hand cams and stuff. But other than that, I just got a pro controller. I'm about to drop another video. Is NBA 2K21 worth it on Nintendo Switch? But other than that, this is the new pro controller I got. I am loving it so far. No complaints about it. Um, this is a Power A one. So I'm going to do a review on this. But I just want to let y'all know I have a pro controller now. I got it for my birthday from my basketball team. Uh, the coaches gave it to me, so thanks, big thanks to them. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I just got a pro controller, so no more using that little Joy-Con grip. Um, here's them side by side. There's the Joy-Con grip. There's the pro controller. This controller is about forty dollars. Uh, forty or fifty dollars. I'm gonna check online. Oh, it's fifty dollars. It's fifty dollars. The Joy-Con grip comes with the Switch, so it's technically free, but it's not the best alternative. If you want something comfortable, then you go with the Almighty Pro Controller. If you're not willing to spend any money and buy anything, or spend a bunch of money on just a controller, then you could stick with the Joy-Con grip. I mainly bought it for Fortnite. I gotta be competitive on Fortnite. I was in third place and then our internet cut out. So I could have gotten that dub right there, but that's a that's a dub gone like that. But I'm not reviewing this thing yet. Anyways, peace. Make sure to watch my latest video. It's on screen right now.